Lesson 1. Essential question. What are simple machines? Engage your brain. Find the answer to the following question in this lesson and record it here. How is the rake helping the boy do work? Active reading. Lesson vocabulary. List the terms. As you learn about each one, make notes in the interactive glossary. Cause and effect. Some ideas in this lesson are connected by a cause and effect relationship. Why something happens is a cause. What happens as a result of something else is an effect. Active readers look for effects by asking themselves, what happened? They look for causes by asking, why did it happen? How can we use simple machines? Digging a hole in the sand. Moving a wagon load of toys. Whew, these jobs are work. Simple machines are useful because they make work easier. Active reading. As you read these two pages, circle an everyday word that has a different meaning in science. This shovel handle is a simple machine. It helps the boy lift sand more easily than he could on his own. This girl is using a wagon to do the work of moving things. The handle of the wagon is a simple machine called a wheel and axle. It helps her steer and turn the wagon. Think of the work you do each day. You do schoolwork. You may do other jobs at home, too. By bedtime, you may feel like you've put in a full day's work. Scientists define work in a specific way. Work is the use of a force, a push or a pull, to move an object in the same direction as the force. The children on these pages are using simple machines to help them do work. A simple machine is something that makes work easier. A simple machine has few or no moving parts. To use it, you apply only one force. Simple machines. Look at the shovels below. Why are these shovel handles simple machines? Levers help you lift. Levers are simple machines. They are often used to lift things. You use levers all the time without realizing it. How do they work? Active reading. As you read these two pages, find and underline the definitions of lever and fulcrum. A lever is a bar that pivots or turns on a fixed point. A fixed point is a point that doesn't move. The fixed point on a lever is called the fulcrum. The load, what you are moving, is on one end of the lever. As you move the other end of the lever, the lever moves the load. A fork is one kind of lever. The boy's thumb is the fulcrum. As he lowers his hand, the fork lifts the food, the load, to his mouth. Lever. Fulcrum. Output. A seesaw is a lever. Its fulcrum is in the middle. The fulcrum is the object on which the seesaw sits. If your friend sits on one end of a seesaw, where would you apply force to lift her? You would sit on the other end of the seesaw. Rakes and brooms are another type of lever. Your hands move when you rake leaves or sweep a floor, but the leaves or dirt, the load, moves farther than your hands do. This makes your job easier. The parts of a lever. Draw a lever. Label the fulcrum, the load, and the applied force. On a seesaw, you may be a load or a force. When you are coming down, your weight is the applied force. It presses down on one end of the lever and the load on the other side goes up. Then you trade. You are the load being lifted and your partner's weight is the force. Using a wheel and axle. Some simple machines use circular motion to make work easier. Active reading. As you read these two pages, underline the phrases that describe the effect of turning each wheel and axle. A wheel and axle is made up of a wheel and an axle that are connected so that they turn together. A wheel and axle uses a circular motion to increase force. If you turn the wheel, the axle turns with greater force. Turning the handlebar is like turning the purple wheel. The connected axle turns to steer the front bicycle wheel. Look at the picture of the bicycle. The handlebars are connected to a shaft. Together, these act as a wheel and axle. When you turn the handlebars, the shaft, or axle, turns with it. Since the axle is connected to the front wheel, the wheel also turns. In this way, 
you can steer without having to turn the wheel from side to side with your hands. The wheels and axles at the bottom of the bicycle are not true wheel and axles. These wheels turn on their axles. The axles do not turn with the wheels. Another wheel and axle. A doorknob is another example of a wheel and axle. When you turn the knob, the axle turns too. As it does, it pulls back the catch and the door opens. Which part of the doorknob is the wheel? A pencil sharpener has a wheel and axle. When you turn the crank, the axle carries the movement to the sharpener. It turns to sharpen the pencil. Wheel, axle, pulley power, going up, coming down. You can use a simple machine like a pulley to lift a load straight up into the air. Active reading. As you read these two pages, find and underline the definition of pulley. A pulley is a wheel with a rope, cord, or chain around it. One end of the rope hangs on each side of the pulley. You can pull from the side, like the girls in the treehouse. The pulley is attached to the treehouse. One end of the rope is in the treehouse. The other end is attached to the basket. By pulling on the free end of the rope, the girls in the treehouse raise the basket to their level. Single pulley. Effort. Output. You can also pull from below, like the girl in the sailboat. She doesn't have to climb to the top of the pole to raise the sail. Instead, she simply pulls down on the rope. In both of these examples, the pulley changes the direction of the force that is applied to the rope. A pulley lets you stay in one place and still use your force. It lets you pull up something that is too far down to reach, like the basket on the ground, and it lets you pull up something to a point too high to reach, like the sail. The pulley is attached to the top of the mast of the sailboat. It can be used to raise and lower the sail. Look around your school. Check the windows in the gym. Where can you find pulleys? Pulley. Do the math. Solve a word problem. Karen could lift 18 pounds with a pulley. When Marcus helped her, they could lift 32 pounds. When Antonio also helped, they could lift 19 more pounds than that. How many more pounds could Marcus and Karen lift than Karen could lift alone? How many pounds could the three children lift all together? Sum it up. When you're done, use the answer key to check and revise your work. Write the term or terms that match each picture and caption. 1. This involves using force to move an object across a distance. 2. This fishing rod and reel is made of two simple machines. 3. You can use this simple machine to help you lift sand. 4. When you turn the doorknob, the latch opens. 5. The lever balances on this. Lesson 1. Brain check. Wordplay. 1. In each box, use vocabulary terms to describe the simple machines from this lesson. Simple machines. Pulley. Work. Lever. Wheel and axle. Fulcrum. Key lesson vocabulary. Apply concepts. 2. Make a list of simple machines in your school. Tell which type of simple machine each is. 3. Label each simple machine. Take it home. See Science Source for more information about simple machines.